Hello everyone, this is Eva. I'm a ceramist who's studying audiovisual communication. Uh, this week's video is called Hui Helps and it's uh, my friend Hui helping me to set up a mini photo studio at my pottery studio. I hope you enjoyed the video. No. I'm so happy you're here. If I would have, I would probably carried out those lights on the yard already. Careful when you take this out because it's really hot. Yeah, so I should just. Uh... That's why in, in some photo tutorial, you yeah. see the photographer never take it out from the ah, yeah. from the stand. Yeah, <laughs> they just. But I can them. leave them. I don't have to take them with me. Because normally with my flash at home, there's a mouth, so I just plug it in. Ah. I don't need to screw, and it holds super super well. So this one I always have to screw. Yeah, yeah. this one you always have to screw. <coughs> I think I'm gonna just continue tomorrow and photo leave this setup now. Leave it? Yeah, for a day or two. Now when I have it here. Cute, the 22 millimeter, because I didn't have the film. Start having better? Oh, yes, much better. <laughs> Why I need to do that? I know you're not used to small camera like that. No, I, I used that, some small one before, so. Yeah, I think I need to learn how to use that really good before I ever get bigger ones. Yeah, because this one is good. I have to say that I don't like heavy cameras. This one is good. Now it's a bit better, more light compared to this one. Yeah. Because I um make the other one br brighter. Yeah. Maybe I can load this a bit. Photo. Wow, it's really nice with the, that lens. Yeah, it is. And now it's nice on focus. So much, yeah, because I, I load the shutter speed first. Yeah, so we can see. <laughs> and then I, I use the red picking point. Uh huh. Now What's I can, the red I can picking show point? So, anything you see with the red, yeah, is on focus. If it's not red, it's not on focus. Oh. Here we go. Now you can see even the yeah. the pie and stuff like that. And you can just play with the with this one and stuff. And then 
later you change it back to the setting that you should. Where do you do it? Can you show me in the front front of the camera where you're doing the? Here we go. Ah, that we have a photo of the day, <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And but show me how, where did you put the red? Yes. Oh, it's there. The red. No, the red thing is I changed from here, but I turned it on for you already, so you don't need to worry about yeah. that. Yeah. But it's somewhere around here. Where is it? I saw it somewhere. Here. Uh, more manual focus picking setting ah. and then here the picking you can choose the color what color you want yellow blue or red oh and then I put level is high so it means that it on and then you do it from here show me from the uh, but in the front in front is I change the shutter speed ah, I change the shutter just, speed uh, change the uh, shutter speed yeah. until uh, so put it lower so it means more light. Yeah, yeah. And then you just go back. And then when I got the right focus, I just go back to the right setting uh, that I'm I'm having ha having yeah, my head, yeah. like two hundred or two hundred fifty. Yeah. But now we have a photos. We don't need anything else. That's fantastic. Right. Yeah. Blur background. Right on focus. This one is like on point. Good. Now I need to take my glasses off so I can see close. Ah, yeah. This is a little bit blur, blur, blur. When you see it red and a little bit clear, and it's good, good to go. Just try. And then I go back. Try again. Here we go. Now the flash oh. is flash. Ah! I took a picture! <laughs> yeah, you can review it. It's good. Yeah. Look. Yeah, I think it's okay. It's look okay, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Then we can put the light room, we need to change a bit light here so they will not see the the background that much. Because no more oh, light. in Photoshop? Yeah. I just blur it. No, we just bring the light down a little bit. Ah, right. Yeah. Normally, I will, for example, to present something, uh, for example, the lamp, I will put uh, some prop that is a little bit round so it stands out. Oh, so you mean that it would lift a little bit? Oh, uh, yeah, just a little bit, like All three right. centimeters. Yeah. But you can. Uh, what about if you have the. Uh, uh, if I have the box underneath the fabric? It's okay. Please stand out. So, because I leave it out a bit, so I need to leave it off this up also. Oh, yeah. The the best one could be the one with half of this height. So, but I mean, this height is good. So basically, just need it. To yeah, it. and I have. <laughs> oh yeah, you're checking out the wines. Thank you for Helsinki Airport providing me. I used to bike home with the wooden boxes, collecting them from thin air. With the wine side. No, unfortunately no wine, just empty boxes. <laughs> and then I got all the material for uh, packing the pottery. Oh, now that was dirty, so the... No, I want to turn, so which one is going to be better? Which one will be better? So, please, coming from Burgundy, 100% always Chardonnay. Wow, that's a good one. See, now it's stand out. Yes. And even you don't need to do the live. Warm up the, warm up this, the whole thing. 
So you just put two pot in and then you put the hot water. Uh -huh. Just like in tea ceremony. Yeah, pretty much the same. And if you want condensed meal, put it first. Ah. After you warm up this, you put all the water out, put the condensed meal, and you start with the coffee. But I was wondering that do people drink it with uh, of milk? Okay. Uh, I mean, with, mostly with this milk, with yeah. condensed milk. But so do we you, don't. If you're home, do you drink it with the condensed milk? Yeah, a little bit, yes. I, I will drink, but uh, it depends on the taste. Yeah. So in Vietnam, we call the one without condensed milk is a black. Yeah. And uh, the one with the condensed milk will be brown. And, and but and do people drink uh, black one usually? No. It depends. For example, the men will mostly drink with black and some ice. So oh, and some ice. Ice or hot depends. Ah. Depends on all of personal taste. Yeah. But this is nice. I like drinking coffee from the glass. Yeah. Even I'm a ceramist. This, yeah. this is really bad, but I do. But it's okay. The you need a spoon? No, we don't need a spoon. Spoon if you in some mode. Yes, we just need to warm up the whole thing. Yeah, just there. Okay. And do you use 100 degrees Celsius? Yeah. How much? Put coffee in. Take this part out. Oh, the lids off. Leave oh, it and here. Then you put them there. And then you put the coffee. So normally we do 18, 20 grams. Do you want to have a spoon for that? But we can do eyeballs. Oh, you do. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do you too. I mean, because. you put the lid back so basically this one is like a filter in the french french press yeah so just keep the coffee in the bottom and then always we have two tons of water flowing in so first one you just need it to feel like this so just make the coffee wet don't pour it full Full. Full like this, so it's it's need to need some water inside the, the inside the coffee. Then we just put it here. After this one is over, you can start pouring it full. Some coffee out already. Oh here. Oh, it's just shy. Yeah, it's just shy. And then this is what you make the brown. The brown one. Condensed milk. This but is isn't this really sweet? It is. I can show you how many wood. So in 100 milliliters, it's 72.3 grams of sugar. Ah, uh, that's milk sugar. Milk sugar. So this one they just add maybe 7 or 60, 65 more of uh, sugar. Oh, it's quite slow. So when you see this one, it's. Uh, it's dry like this, so no more water inside. This one is still like a little bit inside. So you can start uh, pop up the coffee. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you can so. And now is the time to have some snack and stuff like that, waiting for around 10. All the coffee shop in Vietnam be on the street. So they, when they're waiting for the coffee, they can smoke or they can eat some snack or chit chat because it's take 10 15 minutes and this one is really dark because uh, in Vietnam we drink coffee not in medium roasted yeah it's always dark roasted or very dark roasted yeah. so mostly the taste could be chocolatey nutty and 
stuff oh. like that. So it's not like berry ish, like it would um, lie roasted. Yeah. In Vietnam, we have another way to make coffee. It's like they have a big basket, really thin. It's look like a, a colander. But yeah. It's made from fiber. So we put coffee in. The whole pot of hot water like this, you just put it in and then you just like put it in. And it will be a big pot, like 5 liter of coffee. So oh, I would love that. <laughs> in the morning, so I would yeah. love to have this 5 and, liters. And, and the bu uh, basket will be uh, the basket will be this long. Ah. And it's quite small mouth like this. I have to f uh, now uh, check in the internet the picture of that basket. Yeah, I can show you. Yeah, this one is famous in uh, Southern. Wait, I'm gonna take in Saigon. So, oh. yeah. So here's uh, where they put. Oh, that's like a cafeteria. Cafeteria. Yeah. December. In in uh, back in uh, nineteen. Yeah. Like twentieth nice. century. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. That's how we drink coffee. That's interesting. You stretch. If you want ice, just put ice in. Well, but we don't need ice here this time of the year. So yeah. next summer. Thank you, Hui. And uh, hey, thank you for teaching me. Okay, thank you so much.